All right, let's do example 11. Um, so we're gonna find the intercepts and asymptotes. So first let's factor and see if anything cancels out. Um, so for cubes, um, remember it's a cubed plus b cubed uh, will be a plus b, a squared minus uh, a b plus b squared, and then the difference of cubes, this is something maybe we haven't seen in a while, is a squared yeah, a minus b, a squared plus a b, plus b squared. So put this down, uh, make a flashcard, have it as a resource somewhere, because we'll see cubes again. So in this case, we have x cubed plus 2 cubed. So we get x plus 2. We're following the first one. And then x squared plus a b. So in this case, or minus a b would be 2x here, plus b squared is 4. All right, and then we notice that the x plus 2 and the x plus 2 cancel out. So when a factor cancels out, it creates a whole. And that's because negative 2 is not in the domain of f of x, but it'll be in the domain of like this new simplified function. So our new simplified function, which we're going to mess with from here on out, is 1 over x squared minus 2x plus 4, where x is not negative 2. And that's, again, coming from the whole. So even though x equals negative 2 is allowed in this new function, it's not allowed in the original. So it's not in the domain. So let's go ahead and find some intercepts, if there are any and um, asymptotes, so intercepts. So the y-intercept is when x is zero. We'll just plug in zero. We can use the new simplified version. We'll get the same number either way. Looks like we get one-fourth, zero, one-fourth. Uh, the x-intercept is when it equals zero. So I'm gonna use the new function which has no solution because one equals zero has no solution. Um, I'm not using the original function because that x plus two canceled out. So we're getting something weird. All right, and then what else? We want to find, so we found intercepts uh, and then asymptotes. So asymptotes are when the denominator, um, vertical asymptotes are when the denominator equals zero. Um, you might not remember this, but these have no solutions from cubes. Um, it's not factorable, so that's why there's no solutions. Um, but if you don't remember that, you could jump into the quadratic formula. Negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, and we get 4 plus or minus... 4 squared minus 16. Oops, sorry, 4 minus 16. And there's my hint that there's no solution, right? 4 minus 16 is negative, so it's imaginary. So no vertical asymptotes. And then our last thing, um, is there a horizontal or a slant? So since the deg degree on bottom is bigger, it means zero, right? Because it goes to one over x squared, which goes to zero. So y equals zero is an asymptote. So let's start adding some of that stuff. y equals zero, um, zero, one fourth. So I'll just put that like right there. We'll make one a little higher. Um, and then we have a feeling it's going to approach the asymptote, but we just have to make sure it doesn't cross the asymptote. So does it ever cross the asymptote? And that's by setting it equal. Again, we're going to set the new function equal. Nope, there's no solution. So it never crosses, right? We already tried to solve this. 
when we solve for the x-intercepts. And then finally, I'm going to figure out where the hole is. So we plug negative 2 into the new function. Um, I can't plug it into the original because it was it canceled out and would have given me 0 over 0. Right? If I plug into the original, we get 0 over 0 from this and this. And who the heck knows what that is? So we're going to plug into the new function, which is 1 over negative 2 squared minus 2 times negative 2 plus 4. And it looks like I get 1 fourth. So at negative 2, 1 fourth, we create a hole. No, negative 2 and 12, sorry, 1 twelfth. Long day. Because it's 4 plus 4 plus 4. So it'll be down here. And so then I just assume the graph passes the hole and approaches the asymptote. And I assume the same thing happens on the other side. We know it doesn't cross, so it just gets flat at the asymptote. And that's example 11.